YouTube, this is Everything is Tech, and in this video, I shall show you how to actually set up your Xbox to your Dazzle and being able to record from your Dazzle to your computer. Now, this step will work with Windows only, and I'll make another video showing how you can connect your Dazzle to a Mac. Now, for this Windows version, you need an HDTV, like I have so, and it should be able to com uh, at least support component cables. Okay, once you have your HDTV, you need an Xbox 360, and obviously, and you're gonna need a Dazzle. Now, with the, with Windows, you have a lot of Dazzles that work. The Dazzle I'm specifically using is a Dazzle Plus, and it's a really great Dazzle. And I would only, I would actually recommend the Dazzle Plus, or you could use any other Dazzle. But if you have a Dazzle Plus, I can help you out. So keep keep that in mind. Now. This process will only let you play in standard quality 420p, but record in 720p. So basically you're playing in standard quality, or recording in 720 HD qualities. The quality that you see uh, regular DVDs in. Now there isn't an, an, any other really well known methods of playing in HD, and actually recording in 1080p HD. Unless you actually buy an HD capture card, so there's actually a lot of money. But a Dazzle, it's mainly to record VHS to DVD, but over here we're going to use it to record from your Xbox. Now, if you've seen my other Dazzle videos, a lot of people do not um, actually, they need a lot of questions. They ask a lot of questions on how to connect it. So I will actually fully make a video that will show you how to connect everything up. Now, enough for the talking, let's get to work. Now, look for your Dazzle. So, okay, just have to make sure that's in place. Now you're gonna need these component cables that you actually got with your Xbox. They look like this, and the end looks like this. So overall, they look like those. Right here, and that. Go ahead and take this cable, plug it into the back of your Xbox. And it's really right on top of where the HDMI cable is. Once that's in, actually, you wanna take that out. Make sure it is on TV. TV, not HDTV, it should be on TV. So just make sure it is on TV. Or without this, uh, if it's on TV, it doesn't work. Make sure that's in. Go put your Xbox back in. Now, I actually do connect the yellow, red, and white cables in the Dazzle. And it's actually split. So this is different. That is different. Actually, that is different. So we're going to go ahead and plug these three cables in. Um, sorry about that. Um, I'm actually gonna have to hold my camera in. So, plug that in. And I'm actually not that bad plugging them in with one hand. I'm gonna try my best. Do it fast. Plug the white one in. Okay, make that in. It's in good. And take this last red one. Make sure that's in. Okay, good. Make sure those those three cables are in good tightly. Okay, press on it over a couple times if you're not positive. I'm gonna get up. Um, take the other set of cables that are split. They are red, green, red, and blue. Now look for the component inputs on the back of your TV. Mine are ready over here and over here. I'm gonna be using this one. Go ahead and plug this red one into the red one. The green, the green. And the blue and the blue. Okay, make sure that is in. Okay. Now, you've just connected all the wires. So let's review. You get your Dazzle. First, you get the cable for your Xbox. Put, make sure that it's on TV. Then put it back on the back of your Xbox. Connect the component cables in here. Like so. And you Dazzle in with the, the three cables. The RCA. And now take the USB. Now we're actually going to be moving on. Okay, take the USB, which is right over my hand, like this. Go ahead and plug it in your computer. And again, I'm showing you the Windows process. I'll be showing you the Mac one as well. Now, I just already opened Pinnacle Studio, uh, mine version 12. I would only recommend using Pinnacle Studio. You know, that's the one I can help in. And there you go. It's just open. This is just when it opens. And go to capture. Capture. I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. Capture. And then you have a message that pops up. Capture or import from video 
Oh, and go to video tape or video source. And before you actually do click on that, I'm gonna go ahead and turn up my TV. Now, this is the one part I probably couldn't help you on. You have to actually find the channel which you've actually con connected your component cables to. And I'm just gonna. I already know mine. I think mine's either video three. Okay, video three. Okay, and if you're not sure, just go ahead and turn your Xbox on. And sorry about the junk I have on around my TV. Yep, video three. Xbox is on. It's on my regular TV. Good, good. Now, let's go back to the computer and select the first option capture or import video from videotape or video source. Go ahead and click on that. Okay, now mine's already on another thing. But now, go to settings. Because obviously your Dazzle is not connected. Because you do not have this screen on your laptop. Now go to settings. Now first of all, you have to go to the first tab where it says capture source. Right over here. Go ahead and click on that. Now for your video, this must be your Dazzle. Mine is a, obviously a Dazzle DVC. So let's go ahead and click on that. Audio, you can use your DVC Dazzle. And now for the capture format, this is personally my quality I use. I'll actually show it to you too. I use MPEG 12, uh, MPEG 1 over 2. Okay, oh, sorry. Let's go to MPEG 1, okay. And go to high quality DVD. And again, as you can see, it captures in 720, 720 or 480. And just go ahead and click OK. Give it a couple seconds and voila, same screen, same screen. Okay, and there you go. Thank you for watching. Everything is tech. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.